came out and I really enjoy them. So let's open this thing up and check it out. So this is the newest of the Insta360 cameras and it should be the, you know, the latest and greatest. One of the big problems with, so I've tried the GoPros out. I just recently got the GoPro 11 mini black and this has the max angle lens mod on it where you can mount it from the bottom. This literally just came out. I bought this like two weeks ago, but this right here, I was thinking was going to be the answer um, to every, to not having to use the uh, Insta360 cameras anymore. So this is my Insta360 One R right here. And this is modular. You've probably seen this before. And this is what I use to film all my videos with. Pretty much all my videos, I use this. And one thing I don't like about it is, I don't like it how it's weighted on the end of the selfie stick, if that makes sense. The one, um, the ones like this, the X3s and the one Xs that are like elongated, they are weighted better on the selfie stick. They really are, and it just rides better on the electric unicycle. That's one big thing about it. Not a lot of people talk about, it, but it really makes a difference. But I still use this one. Only bad thing is, I've thrashed these lenses, guys. So this right here is like, I think this is my 12th Insta360 lens mod, or 12th um, camera overall. I burned through three of these cameras. The, this is the original Insta360 One X right here. And this is nice and new right here, but, but I burned through three of these things and I just smashed them on the ground. This is back when the Apple store still sold them. and. Whenever I'd smash it on the ground, I'd just box it back up and take it to the Apple store and they wouldn't say anything. They'd just give me a brand new one. But you can't do that now because the Apple store doesn't sell them. But that's the worst thing about these cameras is doing a, a hobby like I do, you're going to just smash them into the ground. And I have the lens guards for the, the 1R. I bought the lens guards for the X3. The problem is the lens guards, depending on the lighting guys, ruin the footage. If you're out on a bright sunny day, it's gonna glare through those lens guards and it's going to look like total shit. And like my whole philosophy behind this is these are, this is a great piece of glass on here. Like this is a great piece of glass on these, on these lenses. And it makes no sense to go putting a plastic lens guard over these. And so what I've said for years, the Insta360 needs to do is something similar that GoPro does. So GoPro, you can twist your lens off. So right here, I can, I'm not going to do it right now, but you can, you can literally twist this lens off. I'll do it for you. You can twist it off right here. See that? Go ahead and just twist that lens off. And you can do things like this, where you put the max lens mod on this camera and it makes it wide angle. And it makes it to where when you flip the camera over, it doesn't make you have to flip it in editing. So it's like a horizon lock effect, which is a huge, huge benefit to the Insta360 camera for doing stuff like we do um, with the electric unicycles. But this, if you slam this on the ground and you crack this lens right here, this costs like 20 bucks to replace this. This is nothing. You slam this on the ground and you crack this, this lens mod is impossible to find a replacement for. I've been complaining about that for years. If you do find one on eBay, it's marked up through the roof. And if you go through Insta360, it's going to take like three to four weeks, almost a month sometimes to get a new one and get it replaced. And it's going to cost you almost as much as the actual whole camera to get a new Insta360, um, you know, a 360 mod on there. So my whole, my whole thing of why I've steered clear of, of this company is because I'm just prone to breaking these products so easily. And you're like, some people are like, oh, we'll get the warranty on there, get the get the customer um, care program. Every time you get that, guys, what they're gonna do is they're gonna try to bend it on you in some way. Even though you paid for it, they're gonna try to bend it on you in some way to say it's your fault for breaking the camera and that the customer care doesn't cover it. So that leaves me at a crossroads. So where I need a camera, for electric unicycle. I've tried everything out there under the sun. I've broken tons of Insta 360s, but they're just so good for what I do, I can't steer away from them. And and that's it. They're just so good for what I do, but they're so fragile. Um, I mean, th there's no other option. This right here is so much better than the GoPro um, because you can, the GoPro just, you can see your selfie stick in it. Um, it doesn't give you as wide of an angle. It doesn't give you as much depth. Like you, the whole 
thing with these Insta360 cameras, it, it makes you feel like you're in the scene. It makes you feel like you're riding the unicycle. It feels like you're on the trail riding. I mean, you'll probably even feel yourself kind of bobbing and weaving as you're going down the trail watching some of my videos um, when they're filmed on these 360 cameras. But when they're filmed on the GoPro, it just doesn't give it that depth like I would like. The whole thing is though, the quality, like even if I break this max lens mod, this black max lens mod, only a hundred bucks to replace it. This, if I slam this on the ground, this is $500 out of pocket. So, I mean, that's just where I'm at with these things, guys. And I just had to get a new one. I, I wanted to update my camera to get something with a little bit better footage, uh, better quality footage on this. This will have better quality footage than the one R, but I can still use this one if I'm going into a crazy situation like trail riding or something like that and I won't be as afraid to damage it and I can run this without the lens guards. I'm probably going to be running this one with the lens guards. So that's why I bought them the Insta360 uh, X3 with the lens guards because this is just dude this thing was expensive. This is heavy too dude. Now that I got it in my hand this is this new one's way heavier than this and I thought this was going to be much heavier. The old one R I mean, I thought this was going to be heavy. This, even with the frame in this on, this is lighter weight than this X3. This feels like, I mean, this feels like the nicest little camera in the world right here. But one crash and these lenses are done. So what I really think the Insta360 needs to do is make lenses that you can just screw off of here. Even like have it recessed in there like it like it is right here, but have it to where you can push a little pressure on it and just screw it off and then pop a new glass lens right back on there. I mean that would make total sense. And it would and the whole thing is Insta360 has a cult following of people on Facebook forums and everything of people that just don't think. I mean the Really, a lot of people that buy these cameras are true idiots. I mean, really, it's just people that see the footage the first time, they're buying this camera for the first time, and they're like, they, they get this thing and they don't use it, really. I mean, they'll take a few pictures in the house with it or on vacation or whatnot, but dude, we're out riding trails and hitting jumps and doing crazy stuff with it, and it says right there, Pocket 360 Action Cam. And if this thing falls over on the table, it's basically useless because of those lenses. And so I love Insta360 cameras, but they've got to make it where you can just twist these lenses off. Just even glass threaded, glass threaded where you can just twist that lens off and then twist it right back on there and push it into place. That would just change the game on these cameras. That's all I'm saying. But if you want to pick up a great camera for riding electric unicycles, I recommend it, but be careful with it. And uh, running the lens guards is one option, or just, I mean, that's the other thing, guys. I, if you're just starting out and you want to make like a, a YouTube channel of electric unicycles, it's way smarter to start with a GoPro because if you do crash or whatever, this is, I mean, so this is so much more durable. You'll be able to get your build up a few, you know, a good following and you won't be discouraged slamming your, your equipment into the ground and breaking it. That's the one of the big things I've talked about in a previous video about these is say someone buys this, you know, they've worked and they've saved up a long time to get their equipment to start a YouTube channel or to start, you know, uh, TikTok or whatever. And then they buy this and then they go out and then they the lenses of their action camera accidentally fall. I mean, this literally can fall over in the wind, guys, on the concrete, and these lenses are toast, absolutely done. And if that happened to a kid out there or some or somebody that, that saved their hard-earned money for a long time for this to start something, do you know how discouraging that would be? Do you know how utterly discouraging that would be and just how terrible they would feel? And I'm just trying to save, um, you know, a kid or somebody – out there from going through that. And I've been advocating for years that Insta360 has got to change something about these. I support them, great camera. Just update it where we can twist the lenses off and change them if we break them. You can even charge us $100 for a set, but just make it where we can fix our camera we paid $500 for. So that's just my little rant on this camera. Um, footage is gonna be coming on the, on the channel for it. Uh, this is just kind of a little unboxing to see what you get. 
open this one up and see. Got a uh, USB-C charging cable right here. Got your, on the door right there, USB-C charging right there on the side. I assume that's a microphone port right here. Peel this off. And I, I don't have, see, I wanna put the, I wanna put, this thing is just, this is gonna get broken, bro. <laughs> This thing's gonna get broken, bro, and I'm gonna be devastated when, when I slam this thing into the ground. Wham! I already see it right now, dude. Doing something stupid, too. It's just gonna slam, dude. I, the screen's gonna shatter. The, the, everything's gonna break, dude. But look, you got a huge screen on this. Like, this is what's awesome about it. Like, I mean, look at this is nice. It's the tacti tactical feedback on this. I mean that's awesome, dude. Compared to the compared to this, the the screen's so laggy on this one. You gotta download the app too. So this is one of those companies like DJI where it makes you download the app, make an account, all that shit. So if you were to buy this camera and just go out into the field with it or whatever. Um, you know, want to, if you really took it in the box out in the middle of the desert or something and didn't have Wi-Fi to download the app, you would basically be have a useless camera. That's another thing I just don't like about these. So they're great in that many aspects, but shitty in other ones. So I'm going to get this thing set up and um, see what's up with it. But just put these lens guards on here. Let's see here. So these are the lens guards. Open them up. I'm really not impressed with the lens guards, man. Like, I feel like if they're going to make a camera this high quality, make the lens guards equal, you know, equal quality. These just seem like an afterthought, man. That's just the thing that bones me out, too, about the camera, man, is it's just, it really is almost perfect. It's almost perfect. But for people that use it as a real action camera and don't just keep it in a silk case in their pocket to take pictures of their um uh loafers by the door or whatever the heck these people that buy this camera do on the forums but i mean really i just i feel like it could be way better so these are your these are what your lens guards look like right here and it's just pla a little plastic bubble which is just uh, i feel like it could be better it could be better if I spent all the time to engineer a beautiful camera like this, I would make sure that the lenses were easily easily changeable. I think they're doing that as a marketing ploy, though. I really do. I think Insta360, um, I think they've had great success um, with all the returns and repairs they've had to do over the years. And I think that's like, if you look at a percentage of the revenue, it's probably you know 15 to 20% of the revenue is from repairing broken cameras and stuff because people see how good they are they like them and they want them repaired and they're either they'll buy a new one and i think that's where a lot of the money is coming from um this company unfortunately you know i even i even have my link below um amazon link below to buy this thing i'm telling you all the truth on it like and i bought one but it's just one of those things where i'm telling you dude it's, it's iffy this is it says front but it's upside down from the way you're supposed to put it so you're supposed to put it like this, but it says front and upside down. So little thing, a little attention to detail like that. I don't, I don't know why I just like that. Oh, they gave me a snack. All right. This is how it says front. I'm just going to eat it. Shouldn't know how to put on a sticker.
shit. Alright, so it kind of seals down. So once you get it on there, it does seal down a little bit better. So I'm just going to push this. Oh. See that? Just see the glare? See all the glare that I've... Uh, you cover up that beautiful piece of glass with this awful piece of shit, piece of plastic... And then it's just glare all day. Look at all that glare. I mean, and that's why they make these high quality camera pieces of glass, man. Like those lenses are what you pay for. And then you're just covering it up with crap. So you don't break the thing. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I hope it looks decent. I hope it looks decent. Because I, I, I'm not going to slam this new camera into the ground and feel like a moron for a week after for doing it. I don't even feel good putting it on this. I feel like that's one that scratched the piece of plastic. And it comes with extra... This is another thing that's just ridiculous. It comes with these extra sticky things too. So if you want to take it off of here with the provided good tar pick it gives you to scrape this off of here once you do this... You can restick it on there with these four. I mean, that's just an afterthought, bro. It's so bad to make such a great product and then that be the solution to <laughs> to calling it an action camera, man. I, I it amazes me how they can sell this thing as an action camera. It really blows my mind. So the front, I don't know, this one feels like it, um, I feel like I got it in the right spot, but it didn't feel like it um, kind of snapped in like a Lego piece like the front did. The front kind of aligned and snapped in place. This one is just kind of on there. I don't know, that's how it looks though. We'll see. These will probably get scratched and I'll just have to keep spending 20 bucks for these and then one day it's just going to slam so hard. Everything breaks. And then I'm out twenty dollars for the lens guards and five hundred for the camera. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Man, that is just. I feel like I put. I mean, really, that's like putting trash on your camera. Putting those things on there. I mean, really, like putting even the box is feels like cheap as shit. I mean, that's ridiculous. We'll see. We'll see how it works. So this is the Insta360 X3 unboxing and putting the uh, lens guards on there and just talking about this camera and my my whole philosophy on it and opinions on it and whatnot. Um, I know a lot of people in the electric unicycle community um, kind of up in the air in the same situation as wanting to find a good camera to use for this. Um, I think a great other option, if you want to get the X2, the X2 is $100 cheaper, and then you can get the um, actual premium lens guards. I was thinking about going that route as well, um, but I just went ahead and got the, the nicest, newest one just so the footage would be would be good. Um, but we'll see. the last little box, and it did come with a uh, nice sleeve to put it in, so... And it fits with the lens guards on there. So with the aftermarket lens guards installed, you can still fit it in the case. It's a little bit of it's a little a little bit of a tight fit, but it still fits in there. So that's nice. And I feel like taking it in and out of here won't really scratch these lenses over time. So that's a good thing. So what it'll kind of look like if you when you have everything set up. Screw it on here. 
So this is kind of the little package you'll have right there. Keep that in a backpack. That's what I like about it. It's easy to throw in a backpack like that and just literally pull that off of there and you're ready to film. So that's how it'll look. All right, I'm gonna get this thing set up. I've been playing with it for a minute and it's really cool. So I'll show you all the interface and the setup process and the settings I use once I figure all that out.